Hello and welcome to The Daily Politics. Here today, which said that Mr Trump had gone cold on plans to officially open the new US Embassy in London. Mr Trump confirmed the story himself this morning on, you guessed it, Twitter. He said, the reason I cancelled my trip to London is that I am not a big fan of the Obama administration having sold perhaps the best located and finest embassy in London for peanuts, only to build a new one in an off location for $1.2 billion. Bad deal. Wanted me to cut ribbon? No. That's a record. A short while ago, voting finished in elections for new members of Labour's National Executive Committee. That's the party's governing body, which sets its strategic direction and oversees the policy-making process. So what's at stake in the contest? Well, our reporter Elizabeth Glinker spoke to John Landsman and asked him what his priority was if he wins a place on the NEC and why the contest had been so hard fought. Well, that was John Landsman, and we'll find out if he was successful in the elections on Monday. We're joined now in the studio by Stephanie Lloyd from Progress. That's a group within Labour that has backed an alternative slate of candidates for the NEC, and Rachel Shabby is still here. She's a supporter of the group Momentum. Welcome to the programme, Stephanie. Why are you worried about John Landsman and the Momentum slate being elected? A second referendum on our membership of the EU. Until now, that's an idea largely only supported by keen Remainers such as as Tony Blair. And so yesterday, many people were surprised to hear former UKIP leader Nigel Farage say this. Social media is having a big impact in lots of areas of society, and politics is no exception. But how are the parties adapting what they do in that traditional forum, the House of Commons, to this new electoral battlefield? Here's Emma Vardy. Have you noticed the strategic change in PMQs, in the Commons particularly, that the message is to go out on social media? No longer the television bulletins, no longer a sort of message beyond the chamber. It is to the core support. Now, the government had a biggish reshuffle at the beginning of the week, and Labour will now have to have a smaller reshuffle of its own after the departure yesterday of the Shadow Fire Minister, Chris Williamson. Mr Williamson's resignation was reportedly a mutual decision reached with leader Jeremy Corbyn and came the day after he suggested council tax bills for the highest value homes in England should be doubled. Well, Chris, especially big one for you next time. Um, the One O'Clock News is starting over on BBC One now and Sarah Smith will be here on Sunday and I'll be back on Monday.